welcome back everybody to the AEL High School Summer Series, Matsy and Mendrix coming to you live once again here. What a ripper of a day it's been. We saw our third place matchup, St. Francis coming away with a surprise victory in the end there, pushing against the odds. And they did manage to band together for a strong stance, taking away number three. But right now, we're going to another playing field. It's the grand final. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited. We had a bit of a delay to get everything up and rolling, but the teams seem to be relatively ready to jump into it. It's going to be Mentone Grammar up against Tyndale Christian School. Of course, we're considering Mentone Grammar to be the favorites, but of course, T T Tyndale need to actually see if they can upset this. I'd love to see an upset coming through. What about you, Matsy? I'd love to see an upset as well. Definitely eager for... The most competitive matches possible, honestly. And surprises like that make for a great storyline. So I'm keen to see exactly how this story is going to shape up. Because, you know, this is the beginning. It's like, in the beginning, there were two teams getting onto the Rocket League pitch. Ready to clash swords with one another to try and take away this grand final. And in As the you end, say that, I think they're jumping in. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's the finals. This is what everything has been working its way up towards will it beat mentone grana or will it beat tyndale we're about to find out right now here we go critic gonna be off for the start there fergo looking to drive it downfield almost able to get it in as shielded by the snow cone in winter though is going to be lemon now trying to get control over it brilliant looking to do something with it won't be able to find it this time critic now looking to drive it down does get pushed over to the Mentone side of the field. Virgo. Almost oh, playing well with that. That's a very dangerous position. Brilliant in there, but Ocean is going to stop that play from coming down. And now we're going to have a bit of contestion in the midfield. Players looking to reset up again to see who's going to have the next opportunity to score. Could be anyone at this point. We'll see just how deep it really goes, though. Oh, Ocean. Love it. Yeah, able to beat that one player, but Critic making sure it's in. Fergo now pushing it down. Very dangerous here. Critic after the demo as well. Defense is strong though. Tindau are here to play. They're here to play and here to stay. Let's see if they can get this one done today. Ocean now trying to make it happen. Snow cone in winter finds it though, and it will be Tindale taking goal number one. A nice little play off the back end as well. You can see ball up in the air. Fergo does miss it just for that little bit. And that opens up the opportunity for Snowcan just to guide it in. Too much commitment in that midfield. Not enough in that third man defense. And Tyndale off to a fantastic start. Off to a great start there. And we'll see if they can keep that momentum up. Because Mentone, we know what they're capable of. See when they're going to start to get into the action as well. Oh, brilliant here, trying to bring it into that center will be stopped. Ocean now going to try to guide it towards the direction he wants it to go, but of course, we can see Fogo has got something to say about that. Brilliant's taking it up high. Lemon though says, "Hey, into that danger zone." But Fogo ready and waiting to push it back into a much safer position. Absolutely. Trying to see if they can hold on to the safety there. Do as much as they can with it. Critic. Gonna hold forward. Ocean. Let's get the tap. Virgo. Definitely good for some resistance though. Critic might be in a good place to maybe make something happen. But no. It is going to be cleared by Lemon there. Virgo. Not having any of it. Trying to keep it as far away as possible here. Critic. Good to start driving it down. Lemon though. Trying to create a bit of resistance there. And it does get cleared offside. Straight towards Brilliance. Not able to pick that one up, however. Virgo now trying to clear it again. Will be sent off to Critic there. Things looking pretty solid for both teams' defenses at the moment. Yeah, that's true. But of course, we do know it's going to be Tyndale with that extra goal at the moment as the advantage. Probably starting to wear on the minds of Mentone and Grammar that need to get themselves onto the border. It will be this first match going the way of Tyndale. But definitely really good plays, really good rotations across the board here. Loving what's coming across from both teams. And that being said, Ocean finds another goal. Fergo again unable to get the pinch that they wanted to when the ball came off. The demo 
also assisting on the play. And it does open up this match well and truly now for Tyndale, who just need to hold that 2-0 lead to cruise into the next match. We'll see if they can manage to do a bit more with it, though. Let's see what happens now. Virgo does get the demo through, so that's going to be good to at least help their defense for the moment. Critic. Going to try and do something with it as well. Fergo, good to drive though. Sending it Whoa, straight down. They it. get one back. Well done, Fergo. Yeah, Fergo really, look at this off the backboard from their side of the half. Guides it over Snow Cone. Lemon thought they was in position, but it goes over the top as well. And that's going to be one at two. Looking for their way back into it. Menton Grammar get the goal. Get the goal and come out on top solidly here. I'm going to do a bit more with it now, though. Critic. Good pressure upfield. Runs out of boost, though. Does have the teammates in the back line there in Fergo to maybe pass it off to. Brilliant. Good to pass it through there. Might even be able to lock it in. No pressure. Too strong. Defense has pulled through there for Tyndale. You can see looking to really push it in. The three men in defense ready to go. Fergo going up high once again to sort of control it towards Brilliant. Ocean gets the save. Ocean now looking to be the aggressor, knocks it in towards this side of Menton and Grandma. Lemongu wants to keep it there as well as they're looking for a clear. This is a dangerous position. Brilliance is there though to stop Lemongu from getting that angle needed. Yeah, not going to allow them the opportunity to take a goal number three and further solidify their position in this matchup. They've only got the lead by one goal at the moment. They desperately want to close that gap and turn it 2 2 2 here for a potential OT, but we'll see how far it goes because the ball's gone straight towards the goals. Tyndale have done it from downtown. Hum diddly dee, they take number three. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication there does mean that Tyndale are unable to get a nice rebound. Even the bump at the end there from Snow Cone to say, nope, no defense for you. And this is not the start we were expecting. Tyndale may be looking for that upset. What am I saying? Maybe. They are. They're looking for an upset play. Yeah, there's no maybes here. It's only yes. But it seems it's going to be yes to that goal. It's been approved and it's gone through to take it to one between them again. Yeah, Critic coming in now. That was a very quick score that I managed to put into it. There's still opportunity here for us to go to overtime if we get another quick play like that coming across from Mentone. See if there is going to be another Swift to play coming through just like that one. Critic trying to push it away from their team side of the field now. Lemon Goo did a good job to keep up the pressure though. Brilliant. Let's manage to send it to Critic there. 10 seconds to go now. Somebody needs to do something with it. Cleared out by Ocean Man. Let's see if they can manage to do something else with it now. One a second to go. Ball just needs to hit the floor here. It's not going to. Somebody surely to either take control of it or get rid of it. There it goes. We'll still in the air, but there it is. Finally, it does go down. That's going to be Tyndale taking out the first match in this grand finals. Of course, best of five. Still early days here. Still plenty of opportunity for Mentone to come back into it, but this is definitely a great start here for Tyndale, who obviously want to maintain this lead the whole way through, and perhaps this momentum might get them there exactly what they want to be trying for as well Let's see if they can manage it here we're just waiting for our players to ready up before we do get into game two of our series as well this grand final definitely exceeding expectations already though tyndale taking number one i didn't expect to see that but definitely eager to see what else this series is capable of and this is one of those sort of stories we've been having throughout the entire competition there where you do see one team really strong, seems to be just that little bit above everyone else. But because you have a competition that extends over a couple of weeks, players are then able to start practicing a little bit more than they would have expected to initially. And then off the back of that, that incremental improvement comes into the finals and then teams that were looking a little bit weaker end up shoring up that gap and making their way to be a real compet real competitors, a real competition in the finals. Absolutely. Keen to see 
just how much of their competitive spirit shines through here in game number two as well as we kick things off with a bang. Brilliant. Looking to send it to the Tyndale side of the pitch now. Ah, there's a bit of deja vu from our last series. Critic taking one out of NJWR's book, huh? It's a good book. Very fun one <laughs> as well. But as we out, do go into it, Osha now looking to be very aggressive. Brilliant's wanting to stop that. Critic continuing to be a bit of a menace with those demos. Brilliant's now trying to make their way around, but Lemon Goo will stop the play for coming across. Fergo reignites it. It's a good shot, but Ocean is ready and waiting to keep the defense strong. A nice stop there from Critic, but Lemon will be there to pick up the pieces afterwards. Yeah, good to have your teammates there to back you up as well, especially in this kind of a series. You can't afford to slip up, make little mistakes, because they can come back to bite you in such a big way. Brilliant. Now looking to try and make it happen here, though. Good to see the snow cone. Does manage to bring it to center pitch now. Ocean getting it over the top. Brilliant. This doing a bit strong. of the same. Wrong. It's going in. The snow cone is not going to be able to get there. And now Mentone Grammar coming in strong in this second match. There we go. This is the Mentone we saw at the start of the day. Starting off red hot with the first goal there. Definitely going to instill some confidence in them so they can try and continue that pace. I mean, Goo will be the one to win it. that kickoff. Fergo, though, is there ready and waiting. Has that boost in position as well. He's trying to get control. His teammate, Brilliant, says, you know what? Taking too long, Fergo. Let me just give you a bit of a bump here as well. Critic dribbling the ball in, but we'll lose control. Fergo there to regain it. And we might see a play here. And yes, that's it. Critic with the demo comes in. Watch this. Fergo says, yep. Give me room. I need the space to make this work. Beats the second player. Critic deals with the other one. Lemon tries to come back in time, but unfortunately, it is going to be another quick goal coming across here for Mentor and Grandma. Unfortunate for Tyndale, who now are looking at the fact that this is a reinvigorated Mentor and Grandma team. Yeah, definitely showing that they've brought the energy back here. You can see how they can take it now, though, Critic. Holding steady. Ocean looking to do the same. Does get stopped towards center pitch. Fergo looking to flow it through towards the goals. Brilliance now looking to do the same. Try and work things out. Tyndale just kept on their toes the whole time. They don't have a moment to breathe here. Critic now trying to guide it in. Ocean with a defense. Brilliance with a follow up. Critic, not Critic. Fergo's there. This is three men here, but Critic manages to come back in the recovery. Is now going to take control, keeping it up high, slows it down so that the rest of the team can come back to defense if it's required. And Fergo now looking to re counter attack. Yeah, looking to re engage there. See if they can manage it. Yes, they can. Great physical pressure from the teammate there as well, allowing Brill Brilliance that free path forward. A yeah, nice little bump in there as well. Brilliance does pick it up. 3-0. Definitely a reverse from the last game that we saw between these two teams. There's going to be not one, but two kickoffs there, I feel like, when the two teams collide. Brilliance with the demo. Fergo looking to get control. That's a nice tap in, but no one available to actually finish it off. And we do move towards contestion in the midfield. Great stuff coming through oh. there. Another that goal. was just too easy. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Pretty much. Critic comes in, provides the pepper. Snowcone tries to make it there, but doesn't have the gusto to defend in that scenario. 2 11 is the timer left for Neil's scoreline, and I think we have a series. Absolutely. Got a series on our hands here, and eager to see which direction it takes us. Mentone, definitely looking to be in the Thunderdome in this one. Trying to push their way up now. Looking to drive it downfield. Ocean clearing it out. Fergo ready though downfield with Critic there. Either of them can take point on this one. Looks like Critic going to be the one to take arms here. As Fergo looks to backpedal. We do see what I feel seems to be a slowdown of the play now. Coming across from Mentone. Comfortable with their 4-0 lead. They don't need to really... Push any letter here. Brilliance there. Lovely demo there. Isn't going to be a finish though from Critic. The 
goalposts say no. That does mean that with that, the ball will continue. But of course, with one minute left on the clock here, I'm sure they're not too disappointed with that finish, even if it does mean they're going to be one less goal down. Yeah, one less goal down. Doesn't Won't mean much them. when you're 4-0 up, right? No. Won't hurt them. At all. Especially with the time starting to trickle down at such a swift rate. But uh, look, they're going to be another goal up, so... They're going to be happy with that. Definitely would be happy with that one. Well, we do see that it's going to be 5-0 on that sense. Trying to think if there's any possible way now for there to be a way to get back into it for Tyndale. Perhaps they're probably just going to have to look towards the next one. Uh, we might have to have a, a small delay getting ourselves back into that next match. I think we have an issue with the, uh, the party. Right. Might be there. We'll see if the lobby holds its position when we go into the next match, but we know what the result is going to be. Ocean, while I'm saying that, takes the opportunity with the with the game having a moment and decides to use that to their advantage, does get that extra goal in there, gets themselves onto the scoreboard, but still four goals down. Going to be a tough ask to get themselves back into it. Absolutely. We'll see if they can find some resurgence here heading towards the end of game two. The outcome almost set in stone, but the scoreline might just be changing up we'll see how it does eventuate 20 seconds remain here there's a demo writing another name into the death note <laughs> the death demo note yep the demo note that's the one <laughs> there we go we've made it we've got a new meme incoming for rocket league ocean goal. finds another but four seconds left i mean it's it's nice to have but it really is one of those scenarios where, yeah, you won the battle, but the war hasn't been won just yet. I mean, as I say that, winning the match isn't the war being won either. Just smaller battles being won in the eventual lead up to the war ending. Another grab there. Critic with a big hit. Ocean will, of course, stop the ball from going in towards the goal, but Mentor and Grandma strike back. Yes, they certainly strike back while the iron's hot there, taking the series 1-1 now. Heading towards game three, definitely looking to heat up here. And if you're on the uh, Tyndale side, I'm certainly they'll certainly be hoping that the uh, fuel has ran out because Mentor and we're looking absolutely blazing hot into that one. It looks very unstoppable, right? Of course, yes. we saw a different a different side to Mentone. Uh, that Tyndale was able to take advantage of. It could be perhaps maybe Tyndale lost a bit of form. Maybe they can find it as well and provide something a little bit more aggressive into that next match. I think we've also had a, a, a few card changes as well from Mento and Grammar taking their time in order to get this one set up. Um, looks like the lobby's held, which is good. So not as, not as big as the delay as I thought we were going to have. Good. That's what we like to see. Lobby's it working. Is... Small wins, right? Small yeah. small wins when that happen. We love wins. We, we love great games, just like this one. Yep, here we go. It seems to be all the players up and rolling, getting ourselves back into it as well. All six players are ready. Let's see what happens here. Of course, it's going to be one apiece now. Mentor and Grenner looking to capitalize on the momentum. Take it towards the win. Tyndale looking to stop it in... A demo from Snowcone means they might be here to play still. Yeah, even still might just be able to do something with it. Looks like a Fergo. Gonna be holding back now. Trying to do something further with it. Brilliant. Good tap up field there. Lemon. Trying their best to get some further pressure. Ocean. Reaching for the skies. Doesn't have much boost though, unfortunately. And there we go. Another one for the demo note. Yeah. Will be Fergo writing that name in. Oh, As we say one. that, Ocean returns that in return. It's going to be Ocean putting one into the line if possible. Critic now knocking it into towards the center. Brilliant. Tried to get some control, put it down in a better position. Wasn't going to be able to do it. Fergo also missing the ball. And that's really what happens. That one little moment, that lapse in judgment here. I mean, look how it comes across there. Fergo just misses out in the end. And... 
that does mean Snowcone is able to find a conversion in the back end. And again, Tyndale looking very strong now in this third match. Yep, they're back. We'll see if they are going to stay back in action or whether they could come crashing down again. Ocean and Co. are going to be holding back in the defense, though. Good push up from Ocean. Going to be picked up by the opposition for the moment. Snowcone ready, though. Does get picked up by Lemon this time around. Critic trying their best to keep control of the ball themselves. It's just going to head into this flow state. Fergo ready, though. Does get fended off. A yeah, very nice play there. Had to force two plays into defense in a response. Fergo, once again, big hit there. And capitalizing off the back end of the scuffle beforehand. Snowcone was trying to regain control, but Brilliant said, nah, nah, nah. Push it right back in. Fogo coming back from that refuel of the boost and has an easy time evening up the score. Absolutely. One for one now. We're into the kickoff again. And Critic sending it to Ocean now. Going to play it off the walls here. Stall it out. Will be found by Brilliant. Good to push it up once again for their team. Fergo. Going to be overwhelmed. Does get sent back, however. Unfortunately, not able to pick it up in the last instance. And another name is added to the demo note. Or two. Say that. More names continuing to fall <laughs> down into that book as well. But even with all these demos <laughs> happening, Brilliance, another one here. It was really the position there for Mentone Grandma to maintain that ball on that side of the field. Actually going to be a pass back there to Critic. He's going to push it forward into that corner there. Ocean unable to get the hit. Actually does get it, but Critic manages to turn in. Lemon with the clear. Things are a bit dangerous here now for Mentone as Tyndale pushed the attack, but Critic able to get back in for another clear. Yeah, looking good for the moment. We'll see just how good it's going to be long term, though. Snowcone ready to try and fend off Fergo. Oh, Fergo. oh my gosh, it goes in. They managed to make it happen. Great setup by Fergo there. Critic reading it well as well. And it does work out wonderfully for them. That's a really tough angle to defend as well. Really loved that what was put into it. You can see they were in position. They knew exactly what was going to happen. But Fergo just gets that touch into that top right-hand corner. And then Critic just makes it too easy afterwards for him to come in and clean up. Get that goal. 2-1, now the lead here for Mentone Grammar. And it's looking better for Tyndale in the sense of last game. It was what felt like a shutout. This time around, though, both teams keeping their form relatively there. But Mentone were really showing us why they were the favorites in this competition. Absolutely. Really showing us what they're made of and exactly why they have been made the favorites there. See if they can keep showing oh. us. Oh, yeah, they can. Goal number three coming in hot. Great communication. Fergo slowing it down. You can see even having those little tups there on the brakes to say, yep, when do you want me to go? Yep. Brilliant says, I'm in position. Pull the ball right on down. Fergo does do that at the request of Brilliance, and that's another goal in their back pocket. And we'll see if there is going to be a redemption goal coming through from Tyndale here. They're trying to pressure it upfield to keep it on Mentone's side. I don't know if they have the adequate pieces to allocate towards this attack here. Lemon, good shot down. Fergo, great on the defense, though. More to come. And you can still, still see signs of life here from Tyndale, looking for their opportunities when they get the up, when, when they have it. They will strike the hammer down. But of course, some rocks there. Def notes or demo notes abound. 3-1 that scoreline. One minute left. Ball now on the side here of Smento and Grandma. But slowing it down. Critic maybe trying to speed it up if possible, but I think actually not getting the touch they wanted. Fogo will be there to just knock it towards the side of Tyndale, who then return it in response. And woof. Oh shit, almost getting a shot there, which I feel wasn't intended there. That was just a reposition, but almost nets a goal certainly getting close there let's see if they can find one heading into the last stages of a game number three good defense from brilliance trying to pressure it back to tyndale's side 30 seconds to go now though and mentone getting close again not going to be able to lock that one in though the crossbar their enemy burger now 
Pushes it towards the center. Knocking it in. Has boost. Is playing it well. Nice little reset, but Snow Cone will stop the brilliance from coming through. And I'm not talking about the teammate. Can see a bit of danger here as well. Critic in defense. Brilliance will make sure it's knocked away. Snow Cone wants to bring it back in, but the ball will hit the ground. And Mento and Grana are now up 2-1 in this grand final series. Definitely great for them to take the lead there. Looking really solid heading into games two and three. And now they are on what I believe to be grand final point. That is correct. Grand final point for Menton Grammar. We can see TCS though, Tyndale. They want to actually bring it back if possible. Take it towards a game five. But yeah, it's going to be a very tough hill to climb. Hopefully they brought their uh, climbing gear. Otherwise it could be... Do you need, do you need, do you need climbing gear for a hill? No, oh, it depends. Maybe I'm thinking of a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> mountain well, indeed and that's mountain maybe it is what's going to be that's such a quick goal coming through from critic maybe the climbing gear is what's necessary to deal with a monster that is mentone i think he could be onto something there as we do get right back into this one kickoff coming through right now good start there keeping it on tyndale's side of the field now ocean Ready and waiting, does have Lemon to at least pick things up. Critic centers it through. Good clearance from Ocean again. Fergo, though, never letting up here. Trying to cut it through. Not going to manage it this time, but certainly putting the pressure on again. Critic will knock it in towards the center. Three players still on defense here now for Tyndale, who have sort of retreated back a little bit into their shells. Not a good sign if they're going to look for an attack. Now they're out in the open. Looks like the heads have been poked out. Can see a bit of a slowdown here. Fergo says, let me have a Critic. Get yourself in position. Critic will be there to reinforce after it's defended. And back into the center it goes. Yeah, back it goes once again here. Good defense coming out from Tyndale though. Trying to see if they can manage something of their own here. Critic pushing it up again. Does have one defender cleared out. Virgo not hitting that one, unfortunately. But it does allow an opportunity for Tyndale now to try and push it upfield again. Will be stopped in the center field, though. Brilliance trying to pressure it up. Cleared out again, though. A lot of play now in the center here. Not really a clean set of sequences leading up to a play at this point in time. Um, I would say mainly because both both teams being very competitive on the ball. Brilliance, though, is going to bring it up. Tries to guide it in. Critic is going to be there in the support and will ensure that it does finalize here. And just look at this. Brilliance doing it in such an interesting fashion as well. Keeps the ball up high. Snow Cone trying to bump Brilliance out of the play, but is unsuccessful. And it does mean to Neil and maybe Mento and Grana leading their way to possibly taking out this as a win. Plenty of time still left on the clock yet, but... The game is starting to run away from Tyndale. Yeah, it's really starting to get away from them there. They need to figure out some kind of solution to try and bring themselves back into the game. Otherwise, that could be in. But quite the endeavor indeed. Good taps coming through, though, and it will be goal number three for Mentone there. I mean, look at it. This is a three-man commit. Fergo brings it in. Brilliance is there. Their critic is on the way back as well but brilliance finds that tap critic just didn't have the angle realize you know what i can't assist here starts immediately heading back towards the uh the third man position but of course brilliance coming in with fergo to find another goal there and now this is starting to look very tough for tindale to get back into it that's another one that looks really good but will be defended snowcone pushing it out ocean now trying to roll with the counter attack to get it in and it is successful does get onto the board and things looking a little bit more lighter here for Tyndale. Yeah, definitely going to be a solid way to get back into it. As they do find their first here. We'll see if they can manage to further burst that bubble and equalize. Three to three. Two minutes, 32 seconds to go. So we're at that halfway point now. Tyndale definitely need to switch things on now more than ever. 
Well, Ocean definitely switched it on for them in the previous play. Trying to get an opportunity to play it out, but Mentone making sure that it stays in their half. Stokone in there. Lemongu gets it out. Ocean is there to receive the pass. We'll get it in. But no one available in that midfield to actually capitalize on that pass back in. Yeah, especially with demos there. Going to be hard to find the numbers you need when players are being taken out of the game like that. Riddick. Good drive downfield. Not going to be able to yield the results they wanted, but at least they put it towards the opposition side of the pitch there. Virgo also trying to stop it from going back to their own. Good to see Snowcone trying to zone them out, though. Ocean does get it lost over the top there. Oh, Lemon what a touch. Losing out on the defense, and it pays dividends. Brilliant. Taking goal number four. Just look at this here, right? Lemon looking to actually push it out, but Brilliant's ready in position to actually reflect it back when he does go for that clear. Puts it right where they needed to go, and of course, they were able to find the finish afterwards, and really beginning to shore up what might be their grand final win. Yeah, we'll see what eventuates to be. That was a close one. Almost goal number five. It isn't meant Would've to be Would have been a quick one side. as well. This Ooh, is a good shot here. Ocean All right. finds an opportunity on the counter attack. Is that a three man commit? Oh, not, the replay is not going to show us, but look at this here from Ocean. Understands exactly how to play this one out. Goes up high. Perfect tap off the ceiling. And that is going to be all she wrote. 4-2 and maybe a possibility here for Tindale to bring it back. Well, we'll see if they can manage it because they need to get another goal now more than ever. If they lose any more goals, their hopes could continue to dwindle see exactly which direction this game is going to go in though snow cone going to push up now with their team does get found by fergo lemon trying to get it back now does have the support of their teammates and maybe might be able to seal something in Fergo is going to knock it out lemon ready and waiting and to retrieve it this is an opportunity lemon does get the demo but the ball is cleared out and it does mean there's going to be a bit of a recovery here now for Mento and Grandma, who continue to push the ball in towards Tyndale's side. 25 seconds left on the clock. Brilliant, taking it slow. That's a dangerous position. Fergo's in position, and that feels like the nail in the coffin. Yeah, got to agree with you there. Three goals in 21 seconds. It's a bit of a rough one. Like, it's possible, but... Uh... Percentage of possibility is continuing to lower as the time does progress here. It is a, certainly a rough situation to be in if you're Tindale right now. And you can see now that the play is keep it high, keep it slow. That really limits the opportunities from Tindale to even think about making it. And it's 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 well and done. I'm calling it right now. Mento and Grandma, the favorites, manage to continue to do what's expected and will walk away as the grand final winners for the summer series here on Rocket League. Fantastic stuff coming through there from Mentone. Taking away game number four and with that, the grand final. We love to see it from them and it will be a triumphant victory indeed. Well earned from them. That being said, Tyndale did play a fantastic series as well. You could really see that there were a team here to play with an opportunity to get to get that win if possible. Of course, Mentone too strong, but I would expect to see perhaps more from Tyndale in the future. That would be great to see these guys come back, a little bit of extra practice, and really show us what this team can do when they have a bit more time to prepare. Absolutely. Definitely big shout out to them for doing the best that they could. Like, they definitely took it to them. And I think that if we do see them in future seasons, definitely eager to see some more. Yeah, I could not. You know, ditto from me. I want to see more if possible. Fantastic Rocket League coming through there. Um, that being said, do you have any final thoughts before we do start closing this out? Yeah, I think it was a great series and a great day overall. But speaking of great things... I think we've got some great people to thank.
Exactly. Not just the players, but of course our sponsors, starting with Acer Australia, the presenting partner of the High School Summer Series, who provide PC technology solutions for all schooling needs in the classroom and at home. Predator Gaming, the gaming PC partner who provide the high-end gaming-focused PC solutions in both laptop and desktop formats powered by Intel. AOC Monitors, the gaming monitor partner who provide the best in-class monitor solutions for gaming and all other needs. And of course, Game on Cancer, the charity of choice for the AEL who fund much-needed cancer research projects with the AEL donating a portion of all student participation fees to this life-saving cause. If you'd like to donate as well, please head to the AEL